Welcome to Fairy the Greyhound. In this video, Fairy visits a brand new beach we've never been to before. We went over to the island of Anglesey and went to Newborough Forest. You park in the forest and then walk down through the sand dunes and you come to the most amazing beach with views across to the Snowdonia Mountains. Fairy was really excited walking down through the woods. You can see her ears are pricked up. She's looking around. She's so excited when she's on the sand. She can't wait to run. As you walk out of the Nuba Forest pine trees, you come to miles of golden sands, which are framed by the Snowdonia mountain range and the Lynn Peninsula. At the far end of the beach, if you look up to the right, you'll see Clandwin Island, which is cut off at high tide. It's a small island you can walk around. It's got a lighthouse at the end of it. There's a few old cottages where people used to live and several beautiful little beaches. quite a chilly day today with some wind so fairy had her lightweight waterproof coat on and we kept that on while she was walking around on the beach she had it off to have her little run so she didn't get too hot and then she had it back on again and we went for a long walk down to the island there were quite a few other dogs on the beach today but fairy just ignored them as usual and did her own thing fetching her ball. I got some more nice slow motion shots of her running after her ball again as they were quite popular in her last video. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see more of in Fairy's videos. I did try the drone on this trip but had a little problem um, with controlling and flying it so I'm going to need some more practice with that before I can show you drone footage of fairy running on the beach. And when fairy's had enough she digs a hole and she buries her ball. So here she is doing that in slow motion. Get your toy. Very get your toy. We then walked about a mile or so up the beach towards the Clamwood Island. There's a causeway which is cut off at high tide and it leads onto the island. On the right of it there's another long beach and the waves were really rough because it was very windy up there today. We 
you saw lots of different seabirds on this island. Good girl. This is the island just off Newborough Beach and there's Newborough Forest in the background. This is Clandwin Island. It looks what it looks like in the summer with a lighthouse at the end that you can walk down to. As you can hear, it was very windy. You can see all the grass blowing in the breeze. Um, there was lots of lovely beaches we discovered on the walk around this island. You did have to keep your dog on a lead because of all the wildlife on the island. Lots of birds and wild ponies were grazing further up the island. The views were spectacular, even on this cloudy, windy day. It was absolutely stunning. So we'll definitely be coming back here in the summer on a nice sunny day when it's warm. It will be absolutely beautiful. This little beach we found here, right up by the island um, headland where the, the lighthouse is, was just stunning. It's like paradise. Barry and I walked down to it and ran across down to the sea. There weren't many people on the beach or the island today, probably because of the weather, but I'd imagine it gets very packed here in the summer. We continued on along the path. There's lots of little gates on the island, I imagine, to keep the ponies in. And then made our way down towards the ruins of an old church. Clanwyn Island is famous for its connection with the Welsh patron saint of lovers. It's known as the Island of Love. The legend tells of one of the king's 24 daughters falling in love, but her father had promised her hand in marriage to another man. So she prayed to be allowed to live on her own and lived on the island as a recluse. She lived unmarried on the island until her death in 465 AD. Her church on the island became a shrine in the Middle Ages. We walked up to the lighthouse, which has been guiding mariners in and out of the treacherous Menai Straits since the 1800s. This row of four small cottages was built for the pilots to guide the boats in and out of the Menai Straits. We had a lovely long walk. It took us about two hours to walk down the beach around the island and back again. Then we had a little play on the beach with Fairy Squeaky Toy and she did a little bit more running around. There's so much to do here. We didn't even go into the forest. So there's miles of forest you can walk around and there's red squirrels in this forest. Newborough Forest Reserve is one of the most important red squirrel conservation sites in the United Kingdom. There's only 500 red squirrels left in Wales. So it's probably best we keep Fairy out of the woods as she loves to chase squirrels. The 
sun came out in the afternoon and it was beautiful. We then walked back to the van which was parked in the forest and Fairy had a yummy chicken's foot. It's going to be stunning. She had the rest of her breakfast which she hadn't eaten this morning and then we set off and drove back to the campsite. Hope you've enjoyed watching another of Fairy's Welsh adventures. We'll be off out and about exploring again tomorrow, so watch out for another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, please click the button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.